Premier Doug Ford, Ontario Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry, Mr. Jeff Urich, Chief Peter Collins, Mayor Sigouin from Hertz, that I'm always impressed that he drove about five hours to participate here while you know, to support the Boreal <laughs> industry, while he has nothing from Resolute in this municipality, but he's always there to support our industry. Very appreciated. <laughs> Chief Joe Ladouceur, Chief Will Wendigo, Jimmy Lim, President and CEO of FIA, that came from Toronto for this event. Our dear and great Resolute employees, distinguished guests and colleagues. Today is an important day for the economy of Ontario, for the communities of Northwestern Ontario, and especially for our employees and partners in the regions. With a regional economic impact of nearly half a billion dollars annually, Resolute is not only a major contributor to the socioeconomic well-being of Northwestern Ontario, but also a serious employer and driver of economic growth and prosperity in the province. With our pulp and paper mill, three sawmills, a wood pallet plant, and woodlands operation make us by far the largest forest produce company operating in Ontario. We also produce approximately 600,000 megawatt hours of power every year, the majority from renewable biomass. Our 900 employees have an annual payroll of $85 million and 3,000 indirect jobs are associated with our operation. Province-wide, our 5,324 retirees contribute significantly to the local, regional, and provincial economies by way of, of, of $115 million in annual pension payments. We also have extensive collaborative relationships with First Nations and communities in the North. Announced earlier this year, we joined forces with FP Innovation through a $21 million investment to implement a TMP bio plan in Tandemay. The fully functioning pilot plan will, all, will allow the efficient mass production and the successful commercialization of green biochemicals contributing to the development of a bioeconomy in Northwestern Ontario and elsewhere in Canada. Today, we are pleased to announce $40 million in capital investment at our Northwestern Ontario operations, in addition to $13.5 million in major maintenance. Today's investments plan includes $14.7 million for our Thunder Bay pulp and paper mill to improve energy efficiency and reduce green uh, gas emission, as well as $14.3 million to increase pulp capacity, reduce costs, and maintenance assets. We also expect to spend $13.5 million in major maintenance at this facility in 2018. In addition, $5.6 million for the modernization of our planner line at the Thunder Bay sawmill, located on Fort Williams First Nation land and we have allocated $5.4 million to optimize our Atikokan, Ingeis, and Tondobis sawmills as well. These initiatives are expected to increase the annual production capacity of our facilities. 25 full-time jobs have been created as we have already added an additional shift here in Tondobis by fixing the bottleneck of the planar mill. More than half of the project expenditures are slated for the last quarter of 2018. We have now invested over $250 million in our Northwestern Ontario operation over the past several years, confirming once again our commitment to and the importance of our facilities in this region. Today, we are also pleased to welcome the President of Confederation College, Kathleen Link. This afternoon, we will announce a five-year commitment to the college totaling $150,000 in support to the new tech hub for trades and technology training. The Resolute Confederation College partnership is a commitment to provide high quality training and employment opportunity for our region's youth. Our contribution would, will help support a state-of-the-art training center for Thunder Bay, best-in-class training opportunities for the region's youth, and the development of a growing pool of highly educated talent ready to begin careers in the forestry sector. 
While I'm in the presence of the Premier Fall and Minister Eurek, before I go, I'd like to say that I was impressed by Premier Ford today visiting the, the paper mill. He was like a customer. He was asking if the paper was coated. He was asking about health and safety. That was pretty impressive, I must say that. I also want to be sure to mention the significant milestone of our Northwestern Ontario operation have achieved in terms of health and safety. To our Board of Directors Safety Award programs, we reward our operation for every 250,000 hours incident-free. Over the last eight years, our employees from our 40 facilities in North America have donated more than $2 million to local charitable and community organizations in our operating regions. In Ontario alone, we have contributed to $316,000 to dozens of organizations, and over 80% of those organizations are located right here in northwestern Ontario. Earlier this month, our Thunder Bay Pulp and Paper Mill, the host of today's events, reach an impressive 1,250,000 hours without a recordable injury, 21 months. So congratulations, it's a great achievement. <laughs> this afternoon, in recognition of their significant achievement, mill employees will be awarded $15,000 through Resolute's Board of Directors Award program that they will contribute to local organization in Thunder Bay community. Speaking of incredible runs, allow me, Premier Ford, to congratulate you on your successful elections victory. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you have made it clear that you will make it easier to grow and invest in business in Ontario and to build an economy that allows more workers to find jobs. We are pleased that Ontario is open for business. This gives us an improved level of confidence for the future. In particular, we applaud your leadership and commitment to the province's forest products company. Your support for our industry provides stability and opportunity for growth. A secure fiber supply and sustainable business environment remain critical to the prosperity of our industry in the province. Your government's strong commitment to helping the forest products industry and defending its worker is so critically important. We here in Thunder Bay know firsthand of the damage that it's caused by activists spreading false and misleading information. Their irresponsible action threatened thousands of jobs and socioeconomic well-being of forest dependent communities. Fortunately, <coughs> Premier Ford and Minister Uric recognized the importance of directly engaging to a process of consultation, local leaders, industry experts, and forestry practitioners. In our recent past, we have unfortunately seen governments opening, operating in a vacuum with limited socioeconomic consideration. We applaud your announcement of a forest-specific strategy and upcoming consultation. Let me, let me be clear. Today's investment builds on the momentum of Premier Ford's <coughs> policy that have declared Ontario open for business. Mr. Eurek's first word to me last July were that his ministry would be working with the forest industry and its workers. Premier Ford's government would be a supporter of job creators like Resolute, not a barrier to jobs and growth. Premier Ford, on behalf of the interior company, I welcome you warmly and wish you an exciting and successful visit to Thunder Bay. Now it's my honor Premier, to invite you to the podium. Thank you. Well, Eve, first of all, I want to I want to thank you. Well, guess what? Someone took my notes, so I'm going off the cuff here. <laughs> I think someone accidentally did it, but that's all right. Hey, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> That's all right. Thank you, thank you for the, the kind introduction, and I'll tell you, it's it's great to be here. It's really great to be here, and I want to thank uh, Minister York, Jeff. He, he's incredible. I, I I say this about our whole team, but this, this guy's an all-star. He is. We're so fortunate to have him in the ministry. We're so fortunate to have him on the team. And again, Jeff, 
Thank you. It's a real pleasure to be here and to see the great work Resolute Forest Products is doing at Thunder Bay Pulp and Paper Mill. When I went through the, the facility, Eve, I, I could see the, the great people and uh, that you have because you can't you can't run an operation without uh, without the frontline people. I love the frontline people, Bob. You have a great team out there, and and Chief, when you were saying about a partnership, I couldn't agree more. This is amazing when the management, when the First Nations community, when Bob, you represent Unifor, and the government works together, we're unstoppable. We're unstoppable because it's us versus the rest of the world. You saw what happened uh, in NAFTA or USMCA uh, deal with the trade negotiations. We aren't competing against the guy down the street anymore. We're competing against the United States of America. We're competing against everywhere in the world. And when we stick together, we can make everyone prosperous. Everyone thrive. And that's what we're going to do. But, uh, Bob, i got to tell you, you got some great guys down there. Uh, came up and said, way to go, we'll keep going. That, that weighs heavy on you. That you're going to come, I'm going to come back here in a few months. i got a, or a few months, even within the year, and look at these guys in the eye and say, you know, how are we doing as a team? Because we are a team. And with the First Nations community chief, I couldn't agree more. We can't do this without your community. It'd be impossible. So we, we appreciate it. Friends, the forestry sector is a critical, is very critical to Ontario's economy. This sector is one of the largest employers in all of Ontario. And it has a massive impact in the success of rural and northern communities right across Ontario. In fact, this sector currently contributes $15 billion. Those are pretty staggering figures. $15 billion into Ontario's economy every year. A strong forestry sector is essential to Ontario's continued prosperity and success. And I, it, it drives me nuts when I see politicians at Queen's Park put up every single roadblock you could possibly think of to the forestry industry, to the mining industry, to the aggregate industry, and it's just you're fighting the government. We're there as a partner. We're going to knock down every single barrier there is. As I was talking to your, your team, Eve, and we're talking in Ontario, just think of these staggering numbers. They come into office and they, and they tell me there's, there's 385,000 regulations. How do you do business in a, in a province that has 385,000 regulations? And I believe First Nations community, Bob, yourself, and Unifor, and the, your team, and the, and the government, you're the best stewards of forestry. All these other guys can talk and attack you, but who's better stewards of their, their industry than each and every one of you? Because you want it to thrive. And Resolute's Thunder Bay Mill has been a local landmark for generations here. It has contributed so much to this community and brought good jobs, really good paying jobs, to Thunder Bay and generations after generations. I saw the pictures on the wall down there. It's amazing what this company and the community has done together. Over the years, you've also introduced a program that will create economic opportunities for the indigenous community in Thunder Bay. And I'm very proud to announce today, as you did earlier on, Resolute will be investing $53.5 million dollars that's $53.5 million in to expand the operations in northwestern Ontario. $13.5 million of which will cover maintenance costs and create 25 new jobs. And I, I, I meant your head of maintenance. Where, where is it? Is he around here? Anyways, maintenance is critical. I come from a manufacturing printing company, so I felt right at home. I was like a kid in a sandbox out there. <laughs> and, uh, Maintenance is absolutely critical to any company. You can't survive without it. And there should be no doubt that this massive investment is a clear sign of confidence. It's confidence in this community, first and foremost. Confidence in the, in the team that you have here. Confidence in the sector. And confidence in the policies and the directions of our government. And because of productive partnership between our government and companies like Resolute, Ontario's forestry sector will continue to thrive year after year and together we'll continue working to make sure 
the world knows Ontario is open for business. Thank you, and God bless each and every one of you. Thank you. Morning, everybody. I kept my uh, talking points. <laughs> I'm uh, Jeff Yurick. I'm the uh, Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry, but more important, I'm a member of provincial parliament for uh, Elgin, Middlesex, London, a little south of here, but uh, it's still a beautiful place to be part of Ontario. And uh, on behalf of the government, we're really proud and, and honoured to be part of the uh, announcement today with Resolute. And uh, we do see it as a vote of confidence, a vote of confidence uh, not only in the community, as the Premier mentioned, but a vote of confidence on where we're heading as a government, how we're going to open up the barriers and make businesses reinvest in the province and create the jobs going forward. We were voted to do, do such and we're committed to protecting the quality jobs that are here, but ensuring that the businesses like Resolute, First Nations, and community groups are able to create the jobs and provide the growth and economic stability and power in Northern Ontario. As we know, the forestry industry already uh, contributes $15 billion in revenues and supports over 150,000 jobs in 260 communities throughout this province. However, when you look back at the previous government's record, Stats Canada tells us that you lost 51% of your employment over a decade of their power. 51,000 jobs, 51% 51 of the workforce was lost during that span, that span. But we know the forestry industry is essential to create prosperity for this province, prosperity for Northern Ontario, prosperity for First Nations, prosperity for rural Ontario. And our government is, was elected to make Ontario great again, make Ontario build up for business, and we will do such. We're committed to reducing the red tape, improving efficiencies, and identifying areas for innovation. We need to unleash the potential of Ontario's forest industry. Ontario's government for the people is going out and we're going to start listening to the forestry industry, municipal leaders, communities, indigenous communities to develop a new strategy and open up the forestry industry for the north, rural Ontario, which will be beneficial for all of Ontario. We want to tear down the barriers, cut down the red tape and create an environment of growth and prosperity. We're going to ensure the forestry sector is driven by a long-term vision for sustainability and growth, and that communities across the province will all share in the prosperity from this bountiful, renewable resource. The message we're sending here today, as we've been sending every single day since we've been elected, is Ontario is open for business. So I truly want to thank Resolute for making this important investment, and we're looking forward to removing the barriers, being a partner with Resolute and businesses being a partner with communities, being a partner with First Nations, and building Ontario up and ensuring at the end of the day we can deliver on prosperity, job growth, and job creation. And again, Ontario will again be open for business and an economic engine of this country once again. Thank you. Throw me a bone here and make this down next time. <laughs> All right, thank you again, um, everyone. So next I would like to take this opportunity to welcome up Gary Bragnello, who is our representative, our national representative for Northern Ontario at Unifor. I'll make the microphone call for you. Thanks for everybody for coming out. It's nice to see everybody here. Um, it's been um, troubling years in the past for, for our industry. As you know, uh, we went through some downturns with sawmills, downturn with uh, CCAA, and we've worked with the company um, years and years, and we come back and look at us now, we're getting investment. Investment's good. Um, it, it shows support for our industry, and I'm liking what I'm hearing about um, with the industry and looking at uh, fiber. We need secure fiber and uh, energy costs that are uh, both and, uh, and it's good for our workers, our members, our families. You're seeing a big changeover in the mills now. Well, in this mill where the older people retire, they're enjoying their retirement and younger people are here. So we have to show them our future. And our future is here. They're investing in this, which is a good good jobs, good paying jobs. It's good for our families and our communities. So uh, thank you very much and uh, go forward from here. Thanks. Thank 
you very much. Um, so next, we'd love to welcome up Ms. Kathleen Lynch, who is the president of the Confederation College. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. It's wonderful to be here. And it's wonderful to be here in the presence of, of the Premier, Honorable Premier, the Honorable Minister of Natural Resources and, and uh, Forestry. And on a personal note, just building on some of the comments that have been made, um, this organization goes back generations in this community. My father worked at Great Lakes Forest Products. So I remember clearly going to the Christmas parties at, at the Fort William Gardens and this packed house. and. And currently, um, my future son-in-law works in the sawmill uh, and is a graduate of Confederation College. So building on that, I just want to thank uh, Resolute for their wonderful contribution to this community over the generations and their future thinking in terms of partnerships with Confederation College. Uh, our graduates can offer a lot. We are flexible, we're nimble, and we're ready to help in terms of creating the future workforce of Northwestern Ontario. And we offer something uh, that people can't get just anywhere, and now we have a beautiful new technology hub that we can uh, support, flexible, flexible learning and training. So I think it's a great opportunity, and I'd like to personally invite the Premier and the minister, honorable minister, back to tour our facility and see what we have to offer. The safety record is commendable here, and on a personal note, I'd be interested in that safety record considering uh, my connection to the sawmill. But uh, we look forward to this afternoon's announcement with Resolute. They've been a longtime partner with Confederation College. They're a wonderful partner, and they see the uh, need for investing in Confederation College and this partnership in order to create their future workforce. So thank you for inviting us here today. Confederation College is proud to be here and proud to be a partner with Resolute. <laughs> 